Thank you, Kate. Making waves. Thousands of divers will be doing just that as the two-day mini lobster season begins this week. It's a headlong dive many will make, but with that comes the emphasis on safety. News Channel 5's Carolyn Schofield joins us live from Stewart tonight with our largest team on the Treasure Coast to discuss those warnings and cautions. Carolyn? Well, Michael and Kelly, this boat ramp here at Sandsprit Park will be packed by this time tomorrow night. Thousands of people are expected out on the water in search of a delicious meal. Jason Riley and his friends went out today, scouting the best place to pick up spiny lobsters. The two-day mini season begins Wednesday at midnight, and Riley plans to be at the best lobstering locale when the clock strikes 12 a.m. Finding the perfect spot may not be easy this year. A poor visibility and just not very many lobsters. We had probably six spots and saw one keeper lobster this afternoon, so not, not very promising for this year so far. About 50,000 people are expected in the water for lobster mini season. The biggest crowds will be in the Florida Keys, but parking lots at places like Sandsprit Park and Port Salerno will fill up quickly. With so many boats on the water, Tim Ashman knows you can run into problems. It gets pretty crazy. People really get the bug for the bug, and uh, uh, they really start, they don't think about what they're doing. They get too excited about it, and that's how accidents happen. Harvesters are allowed to collect 12 lobsters each day during the mini season, and everyone should be carrying a ruler to make sure the lobster's carapace is at least three inches long. FWC will have extra patrols on the water and even trained lobster sniffing dogs to make sure everyone is following the rules. We're just out here to have fun and if we pick up some bugs in the process we'll, we'll enjoy that and if not so be it. And that's probably the best advice. Just be patient and pay attention. As one diver put it, your life is worth a lot more than the market price of a spiny lobster. Reporting live at Port Salerno, Carolyn Schofield, WPTV News Channel 5.